Welcome to Be Green Monkey. A healthy life is dependent on a lot of factors like your emotional, mental, social, physical and even financial well-being. Our life's goal should be to be the best possible self in all of these. Today for this video we are going to talk specifically about our physical well-being, our muscles. Muscles are amazing. They help us turn chemical energy naturally stored in our body to mechanical energy by just contracting and relaxing the actual muscle fibers. Before we can understand how to optimize their growth, we need to understand how they work. There are three different kinds of muscles. The skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles and smooth muscles. The voluntary movements that we do in our day-to-day -day activity like walking or lifting an arm, those are performed by our skeletal muscles. Whereas the involuntary movements that you do uh, without really thinking about it, like your heart pumping your blood or your digestive system moving the food through it, those are performed by cardiac and smooth muscles. They are all made of muscle fibers which receive signals from your brain to perform contractions and those contractions result in the desired motion. For this video, we will discuss our voluntary skeletal muscles which help us move, lift, bend and even stand upright without crumbling down like Jenga. All these muscles move as per our wish thousands of times per day. For example, if you want to lift a bottle, our biceps will actually contract and our triceps will elongate. So this inward pull motion is because our muscles are actually pulling at the joint and this outward controlled release is because our muscles are slowly uh, getting back into their relaxed state. Muscle fibers are themselves divided typically 50-50 between slow twitch and fast twitch fibers. What are they? Well, slow twitch are more used for endurance activities and burn energy more slowly so they can last longer. For example, so you can survive a marathon. Whereas fast twitch react fast as their name implies and quickly use up energy for example in activities like sprints. You can prioritize and build them as per your goals to increase concentration of certain muscle types but for most people you want even a split of both these muscle fibers in your body. I will explain this more in a future video. Now how does this actually apply to you? Well, muscles are adaptable, so if you stimulate them with load, then they will enlarge. This is something we call hypertrophy. On the other hand, if you do not provide any stimulation or challenge to your muscles, then they can literally waste away. This is something that we call atrophy. This is because maintaining muscles takes a lot of energy and our body naturally wants to stay at a stage where it is utilizing the least amount of energy. So. If you do not, do not utilize those muscles, then they are literally redundant for your body and thus they can wither away. This becomes a serious concern for people over the age of 40 as the rate of atrophy increases significantly, which can lead to serious injuries or conditions like sarcopenia. This atrophy can also happen in people who are just prioritizing one type of movement or one group of muscle fibers. For example, if in your weekly exercise routine all you're doing is walking then that is stimulating your leg muscles and also indirectly providing stimulation to your abs and back which are helping you stand straight but this activity doesn't provide any stimulation to your chest to your shoulders and to your arms so if you don't work on those muscles then they can go into atrophy when you perform challenging movements you cause microscopic tears in your muscles this will stimulate your muscles to repair themselves and they end up overcompensating which leads to our desired state of hypertrophy or growth. If you consistently and systematically do these cycles of progressively greater damage and repair, this will lead you to get visible gains. Consistency and progressive overload are the key concepts here. Our daily activities don't really provide enough stimulation to your muscles to encourage growth. So what you really need to do is provide them more challenge and a higher than usual load so that they can actually go through this process of damage and end up repairing themselves. If you want to learn more, I will definitely explain it further in a future video. But for now, there is an awesome TED ad video which is linked down below. 
Having a higher proportion of muscles in your body will not only make us healthier and look more static, but actually results in us consuming more energy to perform the same motion. For example, for the same motion of lifting this bottle, I'm actually burning more calories compared to Melody because more of my muscle fibers are working to perform the same task. A lot of girls just want to lose fats and not build muscles as they are worried that it will make them look bigger and masculine. But that's just not the case. More muscles actually help you lose fat faster. We have over 600 muscles in our body and ensuring that we are able to work on all of them consistently can be a daunting task. The best way to cover them all is by understanding how different muscle groups can help us perform various push and pull movements. Here's an example of muscle fibers. What we are, I'm showing here is my left chest muscles and how they would actually perform the contraction to, for example, give me the same motion as a push-up. When I'm doing a push-up, I'm pushing my body using my hands. So what is happening is that these muscles are pulling my arm inwards and that's the motion that chest typically facilitates so that's how it is chest is helping you do the push-up and chest is helping you do a more of a fly inward motion over the next few weeks we will go over movements that you can associate with various body parts to ensure that your muscles grow this right here is a motion that our back facilitates so back is predominantly a pull muscle what it means is that it is helping you do a pull motion for example a horizontal pull that we are doing here and also a vertical pull like maybe a pull-up your biceps are helping you as well in this motion but this like I mentioned earlier is primarily facilitated by your back <laughs> <laughs> This is the end of our video and I will leave you with just one task to stimulate the most important muscle that you have in your body. The ones that make you smile and laugh. Guys, stay healthy, stay happy and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. The supplementary muscle here is your biceps as well. But this motion is primarily a result of back. <laughs>